passing out underwater without a need to breathe. Yeah, it's a real thing. It's called shallow water blackout and I'll explain what's happening. So let's go. What's up everybody, Mark here. And thank you so much for stopping in. I hope you are having an enjoyable day. If it's your first time, welcome to the channel. For those of you returning, so nice to see you again. But remember, if you enjoy the content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give us a like and tap the notification bell so you don't miss any new content. But let's get to it. This video will be talking about shallow water blackout and the potential dangers that could occur during your active life. And I'll be the first to admit, I love free diving, swimming underwater, lobstering, whatever brings you under the water line without scuba gear. That type of swimming does have its dangers, one of which is shallow water blackout. Now, I don't want to be Mr. Negativity today and talk about danger. In fact, I want to arm you with some powerful knowledge and help you have more of an active life. But that being said, shallow water blackout occurs when you hold your breath underwater but your body never reaches the threshold of breathing. So as an underwater swimmer, you may never feel the urge to take breath. The blackout happens because your body has too low of oxygen concentration to stay conscious. How does this happen? How can you have a low oxygen concentration in your bloodstream, but yet your brain never signals your body to take a breath? While well, your body's threshold to breathe does not happen from dissolved oxygen concentration in your blood. It actually occurs from high levels of dissolved carbon dioxide. This can occur from irregular breathing patterns before going underwater, such as hyperventilation. Hyperventilating before you dive underwater dramatically decreases your carbon dioxide levels below a normal level. So your normal balance between oxygen and carbon dioxide that your body is used to is thrown off. And now your body has no idea how much oxygen is left in its system. And thus that strong urge to take a breath that causes you to move to the surface is never felt. And sudden unconsciousness underwater. Thankfully, I'm going to give you three and easy preventative measures to prevent this from happening to you, your body, and your friends. One, do not breathe outside your normal breathing patterns and put excess strain on your body. You can absolutely take deep breaths in and out prior to diving to slow your heart rate and remain calm, but never try to put yourself outside of a controlled breathing pattern. Number two, and widely most underrated rule in swimming is never swim alone. I think we can all agree on this one. Last but not least, number three, never try to push yourself beyond your capabilities outside of a controlled environment. As humans, we often try and push our bodies to the limits. As beneficial as it can be, the proper environment needs to be in place in order to support your training goal. Navy SEALs are required to do a variety of underwater swimming tests, and one of which is swimming underwater continuously for 50 meters after doing a somersault. But as challenging as some of their underwater training can be, all of it is done in a controlled environment. And needless to say, even the best practice safely. Well, that's all I have for now. I hope you better understand shallow water blackout and how your body receives signals to breathe. So go out there and train, live, and play safely. I hope you learned something today. Have a great day. And until next time, I'll see you later.